Hey everyone, this is a guitar tutorial for When You Speak by Jeremy Camp. Now before we begin, please consider subscribing to my channel or give this video a like and comment below on what else you'd like to see in the future. Additionally, there are some Amazon affiliate links in the description below. If you're interested in any of the gear that you see today, go ahead and click on those. All right, grab your guitar and let's get started. All right, so your tuning is going to change for this song. You're going to need to tune your guitar in drop D. All that means is you're going to lower the lowest string, the low E, to a D, a whole step down. So it sounds like this now. And if you don't have a tuner nearby, all you have to do is match that low string with your open D. And that's an easy way to do it. So just remember that that's an octave apart. So it's going to sound a little different. Next, the chords are going to be a little different. You can still use traditional chords, but you'll need to know the following ones. D, G, B minor, A, and F sharp minor. And I'm not going to worry about barring that low string because it's tuned differently. So just worry about A and D on the fourth fret, and then barring the rest of the strings on the second fret. To play the intro, it's going to sound like this. I'm going to show you how to do it uninterrupted, and then I'll break it down. All right, so that was a little weird. We're going to use a regular B chord, just barring the second fret, most of the strings. Don't worry about the low one, just A string on down, putting my middle finger on the third fret B string, my ring finger on the D string, and pinky on the G string. Both of those are on the fourth fret. So that's your B minor chord. To play G, I'm going to play the low D string, A string, and D string on the fifth fret. And then my index finger is going to cover the G string on the fourth fret. To play the D chord, it's not like this. You might have noticed I only played one string. So it would be the D string, fourth fret. Doesn't matter really what finger you use. I use my middle finger or index finger. And I'm playing the low D and the A string with that. Sounds really cool. And last but not least, that F sharp minor chord I talked about before, barring most of the strings, basically G string on down on the second fret, and then fretting the A and D strings on the fourth fret. Again, not having to worry about the B and E strings, at least that's what the recording calls for. I want to play the intro one more time, slowly. Here you go, B minor. G. D. F sharp minor. Try to do that as much as you can before you play the whole song. And don't worry, I'm going to put the chords on the screen for you and I'll say them as we go. All right, here we go. B minor. G. D. F sharp minor. B minor. G. D. D. F sharp minor, B minor, G, D, F sharp minor, B minor, G, D, F sharp minor, B minor, G, D. F sharp minor, B minor, G, D, F sharp minor, B minor, G, D, break, B minor, G, D, F sharp minor, B minor, G, D, F sharp minor, B minor, G, 
जी टी एफ शार्ट माइनर टी माइनर जी टी एफ शार्ट माइनर जी ए D over F sharp, B minor, A, G, A, B minor, A, B minor, G, D, F sharp minor, B minor, G. D F sharp minor B minor G D F sharp minor B minor G D F sharp minor B minor G D F sharp minor Well everyone, I hope that I was able to help you out with that tutorial. I'm not going to really describe the strumming pattern I was using because it can vary throughout the song and I know I'm not really good at explaining it. So try to find something that works for you and if you don't know what to do, just strum on the downbeat and it'll help you out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button and comment below on what else you'd like to see in the future. Don't forget about those Amazon affiliate links too if you're interested in any of the gear that you saw today. All right, thanks for watching everyone. Have a great week. God bless.